Good morning everybody and welcome to a new day, to a new vlog. And this is a first day in Russia for you, but a second for me because yesterday we were unpacking all of our stuff like the whole day. And yeah, so today is the day. Anyways, so the news are is that I have to get myself registered in an address and then after I get my registration, I will be able to put license plates on my car but unfortunately right now as I found out I'm not able to drive my car without license plates so I might even have to get a towed over to the police station where they put uh, the plates on and it also has to go through an inspection so I don't know we'll see how far everything is and maybe we'll make some sort of a patrol in front they'll be telling us if the 5-0 is in front of us or not. Anyways, yeah, let's, there's a lot of things to do. A lot of flipping things to do. Well, I just been over to the Moscow place, whatever the heck it's called, it's on the outskirts. It's basically where you do your documents. It's like an office for all the document needs. And I've like applied for the registration and hopefully I'm gonna get it in the next few days because it sucks being without a car so hopefully they're gonna do it quick and then i'll be able to go and do the vehicle check and then after that i'll be able to actually register my car and get some plates for it hopefully i'll get some nice looking plates anyways i hope for that but probably gonna get some crappy ones and the thing that really annoys me is that i just got used to the plates that i used to have so now i need to remember the new ones once i get them that sucks so today we have big plans the first plan is to go grocery shopping and actually buy some food and stuff like that and see how the prices have changed since the last time I was here. And also, we're probably gonna meet up with Jora. And he got a new car, so let's see what it is. And supposedly, we're gonna have a bit of fun with it, so sounds like a great flipping idea to me. So let's get going. So since I don't have registration for my car, we have to take taxis everywhere, so that is what we're doing. It sucks. Love driving my car. Well, seems like we are getting a bunch of physical exercises in the regional part of Moscow. Look at this statue. One day we actually walked through here. I don't know if you guys remember. Look at this thing. It's huge. Flipping huge. We want to get some shawarma. So we're gonna go there and get some good shawarma. So this Arabic cola Pepsi, I mean. I don't know where that's from. bit of Dobre Cola, my friends. What do you mean Coca-Cola? There is no Coca-Cola. Oh, here we go, guys. Finally, a bit of Russian shawarma that I did not have for so long. Oh my God. This stuff is absolutely beautiful. I love it. My shawarma has chicken, garlic sauce, tomato sauce, spicy sauce, cucumber, and some onion. So flippin' juicy and good. So flippin' good. Let's see what type of groceries we get and for what price as well. So let's go check it out. We got ourselves some marinated chicken. And Lina's taking a bit of dumplings as well. It's finally some different foods that we can have so happy finally can eat at home it once again and not trying to find a place where there is no kebabs because we had way 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 too many kebabs throughout our Turkish life guys look at the shrimp prices they're actually really good 849 rubles for a big pack like this that's huge and you could get some huge prawns for 1,500 Argentinian prawns. Yeah. 
Damn, that looks good. Not bad at all. Thank you, Argentina. Oh, some bacon. I love that bacon. It's so good. Look at all this pork sausages and stuff like that. So could you imagine this guys, all of that stuff was 1,310 rubles. You'll see the price in dollar here, but that's really, really cheap. Now, I can't wait to show you what Jora got. Actually, yesterday, um, I was, you know, getting all the stuff out of my car and stuff like that, you know, unpacking. And he came over for a chat and stuff like that. And he got himself a new car, and I want to show you what it is. And it's actually quite cool. And we're going to have a bit of fun with it as well. So. Second day being in Russia, looks like there's gonna be a bit of action going on today, which is flipping awesome. So guys, right now I'm beside a store and I found this coffee machine, so I'm gonna get myself a cappuccino. Let's try it out. Oh my god, I'm gonna... Oh well, not much I can do about that. Well, it looks like um, I'm not gonna be able to get a coffee. Looks like the thing doesn't even flip and work, so let's go. It's not taking my money, so I'm not gonna even waste my time for that. So Jorah just called me and said he's one minute away. So let's see what flipping car he has. What does he have? Your guesses before we check it out. What does he have? What is it? And he's not here, but he's driving. I could see him drive. Let's guess what he has. Let's see. I'd say you would see it from the distance and try to guess what it is. Oh, is that a flip and Lada Niva? What is that? Damn, look at it. Damn. Very, very nice. Look at him. You were wondering where he was. Here he is. Hello, my friends. Long time no see. Yeah. What can you say to after everyone? After five years, yeah, after eight months on Turkish coast, it's time to go home. <laughs> How have you been? Everybody was wondering where is Jora and Mark. I was uh, trying to buy new Lada. Yes, did it. <laughs> he came back to buy a new Lada. That is why he came back. Look at this. It's a brand new Lada Niva. Look at this. Look at this. Damn. Damn. Absolutely no airbags because airbags are for wusses. You don't need flipping airbags if you're a real man. Evelina getting inside. <laughs> Let's open the inside. Ooh, real man car. Nice. Look, look at those rings. Damn. Flipping nice. Flipping nice. Oh yeah, here we go again. And we're in the Lada. So right now we're waiting for another friend who also has a Lada Niva. And we're gonna do a bit of off-roading. Should be absolutely flipping fun. So we got two Lada Nivas and we're gonna go over to fields and forests. So yeah, it's brand new, two brand new. Lada Nivas. So right now we're entering the forestry. Russian roads. Yes. Yeah, buddy. Yes. Я уже, блядь, засел. Я причем еду как-то по полю. И она сама, знаешь, прям хочется налево поехать, направо. Here we are in the fields of Russia. Мне уже страшно. Oh, look at this dirt, guys. We're going in. <laughs> yes. Yeah, buddy. Oh, yes, I'm doing it. Yes, yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I like 
Look at this, guys. Oh, oh shit. Here we go again. Yeah. Okay. Look at this beautiful Russian nature with two cool Nevas riding around the place. This is what I love. This is what I miss the most. Having a bit of fun like this. So you see this hill climb right here. One of the Nevas are gonna go down now. You could see a Jora there waving at us. So as you could see, it's quiet as steep. It's not that steep, you know. I just wanna see how it's gonna look like. It's gonna be flipping awesome. God, the nature is beautiful here. The air is so good. That was simple. The question is, is he gonna climb up? Well, he definitely is gonna climb up. Look at this. So, Jora is gonna do the exact same thing. And we're gonna be inside while he's doing it. Inside always feels more sketchy. I don't need seat belt, I'm not a woman. Oh, he sketched out. Look at this. А теперь знаешь, это как it's like on a car wow channel. Uh, what car will be slower on a rolling down? Yeah, we will win these bitches. <laughs> oh, I love my Lada. It's the perfect car of the world. He really likes his Lada. This is the type of outdoor activities we do back in Russia. Next scene, we are waiting for a tractor. Yeah. Now we're gonna go back up that hill you can kind of get a perspective of how it looks like what is quite steep looking oh that's awesome that's really awesome well, it looks like Jora really likes his Lada Niva. He might be even sexually aroused by it, by the looks of it. <laughs> Guys, check this out. We're gonna go through this puddle right here. Let's go. Let's go. Turkish whip. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> oh, some Russian oh, my. oh my. So I came over to give my Escalade a little car wash. Didn't record that part, but check this out. It's getting washed right here on the camera. Oh, look at this car. Flipping clean as heck. Well, all of our cars are absolutely spanking clean. Look at this. No place on any. So 
So you guys would know, I'm actually staying over at my grandparents' house. They have a house where they live and the house which they used to rent out, but that's where me and Evelina and the cats are staying now. And right now we're gonna make a bit of barbecue for dinner. That's what I wanted for a long time, so let's do that then. Got the charcoal here and the stuff to make it light. Let's get going. Let's get the fire started. I'm a fire starter. Twisted fire starter. Nice clips, right? Charcoal barbecue is the best. Propane barbecue does not have the same taste. This is the way to do it, to make some nice barbecue. I put a little bit. I know this is dirty. I'm gonna actually, you know, clean this up. This hasn't been used for years. So we're gonna do a bit of TLC to this soon enough. But anyways, let's get the barbecue started. Well, that doesn't seem to work. Hold on a minute. Yes, now that's gonna get the fire started now. Put a bit of uh, special lighting fluid to light up the barbecue fire. So we got ourselves in the shop today, you saw this is pork in Alabama seasoning. I'm not sure if this is truly an Alabama seasoning, but it looks flipping awesome and I'm gonna cook it well. Awesome. Now the fire, you want to wait until all of the charcoal is like white and there's no fire and then you could place the food in there and give it a good sizzling with that smoky flavor. Heck yeah, let's get this grilling going on. Ooh, just look at that meat. I'm flipping good. Oh, that sizzle. Okay, I'm gonna load all that up. Oh, would you just look at that cooking. This is looking good. Finally, pork barbecue. Very flipping nice. Oh, look at this. Cooked to perfection. Oh my God, it's steaming hot. It's so flipping beautiful. Guys, time to try this out. Let's see. I'm a flipping barbecue chef. This is really good. Bon appetit to whoever is eating right now. So guys, a bit of seriousness. I've been reading the comments of you guys saying that I am absolutely stupid, that I came back home and stuff like that. Well, the reasoning of that is it's quite hard traveling around the world when you have two cats and a girlfriend. The biggest problem is not even that. The biggest problem is that it's very hard for a Russian citizen to get a visa to travel to any other country. And you know, I'll be honest with you, it's very hard living in countries like Turkey, Georgia, Kazakhstan, Uzbekistan, Tajikistan, and stuff like that. Because I'm not really able to do anything there. Like, I don't, I cannot do anything whatsoever. You know, I could record videos, but those videos wouldn't be that interesting. The story is about me returning is, first of all, I wanna make some great content because a lot of you guys said, your content is absolutely boring. All you do in Turkey is just eat and do absolutely nothing interesting. So that is one of the reasons that I have returned. But as you guys might remember, on the streams I used to say that we're gonna be going to Thailand in like three or four months. Well, basically my plan is in Russia is to, as you guys know, I have an apartment in Moscow that is just basically concrete walls and nothing inside of it. And I'm planning to, you know, do it myself, get it done so that I would be able to leave my cats there with uh, you know, uh, some family member that would be able to live there for a while. So that is kind of a plan, you know, it's very hard to just leave and go to another country without any plans or anything like that. And considering that in Turkey, I had a car, either ways, I had to bring it in. And now a lot of people are saying, 
Wow, you're probably the FSB, you're a spy, or calling me an orc? Guys, you gotta be out of your mind. Like, what, what is the problem? Now, I've been here for two days already, and I don't feel anything, you know, sketchy happening. I've been recording outside, speaking in English. Nobody gives a damn. So we're gonna see how it goes. I know that a lot of people are gonna be unsubscribing anyways, you know, hating on me because I came back to my home. But it is your decision. I know that most of you flippin' legends are gonna stay with me and enjoy the interesting content that I'm gonna be making for you. So that is basically the plan that we're gonna be following by. So <laughs> there's gonna be a bit of construction, there's gonna be some car stuff, you know, there's gonna be some interesting stuff about what's going on in Russia. Actually, me being in Russia myself because a lot of bloggers are basically telling what's happening in Russia to you guys from reading uh, Western news outlets basically you know and they're not actually inside of the country themselves to actually see what is really going on so for this while I am gonna be your guy that you could look and see what's actually going on in Russia but I do not want to be making, like I said from many, many videos, I do not want my videos to be political. I want my videos to be fun and about my life in Russia and any other country that we'd be going to. So guys, uh, thank you for your understanding. I really appreciate your guys' support. You guys are absolute legends. And till next time, have a great day or an evening, whatever you're having. Thanks for watching and hopefully you enjoyed this vlog. And yeah, if you did, leave a like, subscribe, and also comment in the comment section below what do you think about this whole situation. Thank you very much and adios.